Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Makeup with Lauren. And it was a very fun tutorial that I did today with this look. I wanted to have a lot of fun with some colors on my eyes and my lips. And I just had a blast with it. Um, like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment below. Let me know if there are any looks that you really want me to do. And I will try to get it done for you. Um, hope you enjoy this look. Hi everybody, welcome back to Makeup with Lauren Boniface. I am going to do... A very fun tutorial today. I'm going to use a bunch of different colors, um, something that's a little bit outside of, I know, a lot of people's comfort zones, but color is fun. Don't be afraid to play with it. It's one of those things where you really can explore your options. And I'm going to use the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette today. It looks like this, and it has some amazing colors. I'm going to just so some really fun colors for everybody today to see. Um, all right, so I've already prepped my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and my eyes with the 24-hour uh, um, anti-crease shadow eye, uh, eyeshadow primer insurance policy thing. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to do... I kind of want to do something with pinks. I feel like I don't utilize my pink shades very often. I definitely go for like a darker pink or an orange or a red or a burnt terracotta, but I don't go with pinks. So I'm going to stay with all my pinks today um, and really kind of see what it becomes. Alrighty. So let's begin. Alright. So... I'm going to go in with a crease brush and I'm going to start from dark to light on both eyes and I'm going to use Alchemy which is this shade right here. Okay, I have a little bit of pigment onto my brush. And I'm just doing small circles and working it up. And I am putting a little bit of product onto my brush at a time and working that pigment into the places that I want it. And if I feel like I want a deeper color, I'll just build on top of that. And build some more here in my corner. Perfect. Okay, so from there, brush cleaner. Get off that excess product off of the brush. This thing is great. Um, so this one is Clean Sweep Makeup Brush Pad. 
almost every company nowadays has one. You can get them at Sephora, you can get them at Ulta, you can get them on Amazon. I think that's where I got this one, um, if I can recall. And I will link it below if I can find it. If not, I'll just find another one that's the exact same thing practically. Um, and I'll link it below for you guys just so you can have something that's similar. So from there, I'm going to go in with Gossip, which is this second color right here. It is so bright and so beautiful. And I am going to use a, um, a dense compacting shadow brush. Boop, boop, boop. Can you see that? Beautiful. It's E123 by AOA Studio. I will also link them below because I absolutely love the company that they are. Um, their makeup is really affordable for those of you that feel that makeup is either too expensive or just it's not worth it to you. Um, they're a great alternative. I happened to find them and um, through a client who told me about them and I tried them out and I'm obsessed. Like I have been using their primer, their Wonder Skin um, Poreless Primer and let me tell you, I literally did not sweat through my makeup it stayed beautifully it was it's amazing love it I swear by it it's one of the best honestly okay so I'm just gonna pat this right on and if you really wanted to make this color even more intense you could do a cut crease with it and get some concealer and really brighten the bottom or the underneath of this pigment and get it to like whoosh, open up. You can see how pretty that color is. It's just, oh my god, it's such a pretty pink. And I'm just doing small little dabs to get that color in the places that I want it right look at that look at how pretty that is it's like unbelievably gorgeous beautiful okay from there, I'm going to go to the lightest shade. And now, I'm only using this one palette right now, guys. So this is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum um, Color Palette. It's it's gorgeous. There's so many tones and colors um, that are just... It's just... They're amazing. Like, look how pretty them are. Oh, my God. They're just gorgeous. Like, that whole line right there is like... Show me the beautiful. Oh, so I'm going in right with that one right there. That is Paranoia. And I'm going to use that on the inside and up and around. Sorry, guys. It's really hot in my house today. I have my AC on 60, and it's still hot. I think the temperature outside, I think it's like reaching the index of like 103. I'm practically dying. Anyways, so I'm going in with Paranoia. And I'm going to go right into my tear. Right? And I'm going up and over. Because I want that tiny little pop of color. Because remember, I'm doing all the pinks today. What I might do is go in with a deeper shade of pink with, let me see if my Jaclyn Hill has it. Yeah. It's in I'm assuming that's backwards. It has to be. Okay, so it's in this shade Cranapple. 
which is that one right there. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. It's like, it's got a bit of shimmer to it. So let me just do that a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go back in with that same crease brush, and I'm just going to... <sighs> Sorry, guys. I totally dug my nail into my black in this palette, but no biggie. Dab a little bit of that off. Go into that corner. Boom. And it's just going to deepen that for me right there. Wow. Cool. All right. Got to clean that brush. Alrighty. So from there, I'm going to take a break on my eyes. And then I'm going to go in and do um, my face re regimen. And today is going to be fairly simple. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Well, I might. Who knows? I, I always say that I'm not going to do anything crazy. And then I'm like, let's contour and let's do everything. Um, so we will see. Okay. But I think I'm going to add a little bit of pigment at some point. I may use the purple just because no, I'm not. I lied. I lied! I'm trying to think. I just want to make it like <gasps> ooh, I can go in with glitter. Like one of those. Maybe I'll do that right on top of that center. This is the Insta Glam palette by High Def. Um, I found them on Instagram actually, and instantly became obsessed with their palette to the point where like it hadn't even been released yet. And I inboxed them asking if I could get their palette and they literally sent me a link and I think it was like a week later it came in the mail. I was like, yay! I was so happy. <laughs> My poor fiance at the time was like, oh my God, here we go. All the glitter looks. So, okay. I'm going to use doo -doo 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 Tarte Shave Tape in Hydrating Shade Light Medium Beige. I'm going to apply it right to my face. <clears throat> I'm not using... I feel like I'm using a lot, so I'm just going to stop right there because I can get aggressive. I'm going to use my Tarte Foundation Full Coverage Foundation Brush, and I'm going to go. Now, this is like a light to medium coverage. Mm, medium to full coverage, I should say. Not really light. Um, I definitely get full coverage from this, and I love it. I really do. My skin can breathe. It doesn't get cakey on me. It's one of those like really nice foundations where you know that like no matter what, it's gonna stay on. But on the other hand, your skin's also gonna be able to breathe. Perfect to behind the hairline, in front of your ear, underneath your chin. Make sure everything is covered. Crease of the nose. Check myself in the mirror. Perfect, okay. From there, I'm going to go in with Tarte's Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Concealer in the shade Light. I do the top bridge of my nose. 
If anybody's ever watched my videos, they'll know why I don't go all the way down. And I tend to drop everything or lose things. That is a big one for me. <laughs> I lose everything. Um, okay, so I'm going to go in with my dampened beauty sponge. And I'm going to dab, dab, dab. Dab away. Right? Up and away. Perfect. I feel like I have something in my eye. Let's scratch that. I did it with an eyelash. Okay. So from there, I'm going to grab my contour palette. I'm going to do my shade light but Kat Von D and go in with the shade Lyric, which has a bit of a yellow tone to it right there. So you can see the angle of the brush makes my life very easy where it's like one sweep, one sweep. And I'm going to use the same brush to go in with subconscious. I think that's what that says when I read upside down. Yes, subconscious right there. And it, this is a very cool... Um, brown tone for contouring. I have something on my brush. Bear with me. All right. There we go. And I'm going to start at the top, top of my ear and work my way to the corner of my eye. Right there. Same thing. Top of my ear, work my way down. Perfect. Go into the side of my nose with whatever is on there. Add more if I need to. Perfect. Go into my hairline. And drop down. under the chin always 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 the reason I say always for me specifically is because I really feel um, it does what I need it to do it just gives me a more sculpted look um, overall okay so from there Take that same beauty blender. Dab away, baby. Dab, 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 dab. And I'm just dabbing it or pressing it into my skin. And yes, that was a powder, a compressed powder. And I'm using a damp 
beauty blender or beauty sponge and what that does is it creates the softness in that sculpted look for that contour okay all right and now I am going to go over that with what do I want to go over it with mm. I want a soft look so I'm gonna actually go over it with a with the Tardius Pro Glow contour palette um, and I'm gonna go over it with fire I'll show you guys what fire looks like it is gorgeous sorry I have to wipe my hands I have black all over them for some weird reason I think it's on this palette still bear with me people yes it is What happens when you stick your nail in it all right so this is fire right here this one I'm gonna just go over my cheeks with that and go up and work my way up up away yep yeah. Fire! And then you get contoured and highlighted. What? Amazing. Gotta love it. Okay, so from there, I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna go in with Monarch by Tarte. Peachy, beautiful color. One of my favorites for sure. From the apples and up. You never want to go past here. Okay? Never past here. And you can layer your blush. So ladies and gents, like if you feel that you want more blush, add more blush. Just work it up. So it doesn't look like it's right here. Okay? Okay. From there, I am gonna highlight on top of my highlight. And I'm gonna highlight with. Hmm. What do I wanna highlight with? Well, maybe I'll highlight with my Cargo. So, Cargo HD. And it's like a beautiful champagne, like a real gold. And I'm gonna go pretty light, so I'm using my fan brush. I'm gonna go right at the cheek, top of my cheeks. Waha! I am highlighting my upper brow. I haven't gotten to my brows yet. Don't worry, guys. I will get there. All right. Oh, it is so hot in this house today. I'm sorry if I look like a crazy person because of it. Okay. So from there, let's do brows and then I'll go in and I'll do lips. Okay, so brows I'm gonna use, whoa. Brow Power by It Cosmetics. Cause it's the bomb. I used to love Anastasia Beverly Hills, their um, brow pencil, and I still do. Um, they're just very different and sometimes I feel like the It Cosmetic just holds better for my oily, like, face. Okay, so. I feel like brows are such a personal thing, you know? Like... I always tell this one story that I have, I have a friend who we were in a wedding together 
and I was doing her makeup and she said to me, she was like, Laura, I, I love the, you know, I'd love you to do my makeup, but can I do my own eyebrows? And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, I would never be offended by somebody wanting to do their own eyebrows because it is, it's like, when you do your eyebrows so often and you know your own shape and what you like, having somebody else come in and say, no, this is how it needs to be done, it's intrusive. It's like, it's a very personal thing to have somebody go and be like, no, you're doing it wrong. Let me do it for you my way. And it's like, well, they're not your eyebrows. They're not on your face. This is how I like the way I look. So I'm going to do it my way. And I, I loved her for being able to like speak up and say like, yeah, I want to do my own brows. I was like, yeah, absolutely. Totally. Okay. So onto my Next brow. Oh, I got hiccups. Wow. Okay. So, from there, I go up and I soften that line. See, I need to fill in right there. Hmm. Perfect. Okay. So, from there, I take a little bit of my concealer. I'm going to go back in with the Amazonian Clay 12 hour concealer. I'm going to take a concealer brush. Just dab it on a little bit on my brush. And what I'm doing is just outlining my shape. Perfect. So what I do after that is I just take that same blending brush that I went in and kept blending and I just go up and blend that. Right into that eye. So it looks like a seamless. Okay. So, I do want to do some glitter, so I am going to use the high, um, the high def Insta Glam palette. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my E115 brush, so it's very flat, square on top, and I'm gonna apply some gel, uh, not gel, some glitter, um, primer right here. And right here, I am going to use my little mirror so I can see. And then I'm going to apply that beautiful pink that's like lamb bam, that right there. I think I want to call that like flamingo pink. It's like, wow, because um, it's hot. It's so pretty. Okay, so got my glitter glue glitter shadow primer insurance <laughs> I'm just gonna 
so it's on the back of my hand as per you know usual there's never a moment that like I don't put it on the back of my hand honestly um, it just allows for cleanliness I guess to keep your products and to keep your brushes and your tools clean as or as clean as possible right okay so I'm going in right to the bottom center right where my pupil would be and I'm gonna grab some of that color and I'm gonna dab it right on oh my god it's so pretty It's so pretty. I'm in love. Oh my God, I'm in love with this. Beautiful. All right, so I am gonna wipe that brush off, just get any excess product. Uh, I'm just using a regular makeup wipe, nothing crazy. And I'm gonna go back in. Get some more glitter glue and do my right eye. Okay. Look how pretty that is. Oh my God, I'm in love. And you can tell I'm just doing small dabbing motions. Just placing that glitter shadow right where I want it. I am taking my time and manipulating it where I want it to go. Yes, queen, yes. Oh, that felt like an Instagram uh, filter. Ha <laughs> Okay, so that's done there. I'm gonna let that set for a minute. It usually sets in like no time at all. And then from there, I am going to just reapply on the inside corners 
with that um, paranoia, I believe that, that was the name of it. If I am right, I'll let you know. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know that too. Um, ah. Yes, paranoia. I was right. And I just wanted to brighten up that corner. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, I know I'm out of the frame. Just trying to keep things organized and put things back where they should be put and that I won't lose my mind when I walk over back to my makeup table and go, oh my God, why is it looking like this? Because you did that, Lauren. That's why. Okay, so. Because I have such a dramatic eye, I'm gonna go in with a pencil. Oh my God, pencil liner. Mm. I'm gonna smoke out my eyes a little bit. I'm just gonna go in my waterline. And just create a little bit of drama. Top and bottom. All right, so we have a little drop down. I'm literally just pulling it away. That's how quick and easy it is. It's so easy. Okay, so. I don't need this to be perfect. So you see that? I'm gonna work that into my look. So this. Actually, I'm gonna sharpen my pencil. Bear with me. I have black eyeshadow all over me. Like, <laughs> all of a sudden, it's on my leg, it's on my hand, it's on the desk. My God. Marona me. Like, it just ended up everywhere. Okay. So, from there. underneath I'm gonna use just a smidgen sorry guys okay just a little bit of eyeliner underneath and see not a whole lot but what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to smudge out my eyeshadow underneath and really create like that smoky dense eye okay so taking a small crease brush this is E112 and I'm literally just going underneath where I just put that eyeliner and I'm just smudging it out don't be afraid to blink Mm. 
instant. It's perfect, instantly. Because <laughs> it's smudging. There's nothing perfect about it. You're gonna do whatever you want. I open my mouth, I go to like stretch my eyeballs. It's just what works for me. Find what works for you. Okay. So I'm gonna go over that with that same full spectrum palette. To drink water because it is 105 degrees in my house right now. I'm probably exaggerating, but I don't think I am because it is mighty hot. Okay, so I'm going back in with that same palette. I'm going to go back in with Gossip, which was that second color. This one. And I'm just going to use that to line or smudge out my smudge. Really create that like cohesive, fun color. Yes, Queen. Mm. 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 Ah! I love it when my eyes are fun. <laughs> I'm such a dork, I can't help it. Okay, so. I could go crazy and do lashes, but I'm gonna be real with you. I don't feel like doing them. End of story. Um, but what I will do is go in and bake my face just a little bit with some setting powder. I'm not gonna like bake my face. I'm just gonna tap on some translucent powder with a loose face brush. Nothing crazy. Big face brush. This is F12. Some translucent. This is the NYX HD Photo Finish. Get it on. Doesn't have to be perfect because nobody can see it regardless, but your oilier, oilier areas, um, say that five times fast, or your areas that you really don't want to move, those are the areas that you want to bake or really get that like translucent powder in so it doesn't move. Beautiful. So yesterday, my fiance and I um, had our engagement shoot with one of the best photographers I've ever known. He's amazing. Love him to death. He, his name is for us, and it's photos by Jay. If you want to check him out, I'll link him below. He is phenomenal, and I did my whole face. I did an Instagram story about that. And at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing makeup or how well you do makeup. Like there's always that like, I have been in the sun, moving around, sweating for hours. Like how is it gonna look at the end of the day, right? So I looked in the mirror and I was like, ooh, girl got baked, did well. It held up, it looked great. So hope the pictures are just as amazing as I saw them to be. Yesterday he was like, pull us to the side and show us a few pictures and I was like, oh my God, they're amazing. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a very fun lip if I can. Wait, is this what I want? What color is this? Crush, yes, this is what I want, okay. Had a moment, guys. I didn't know what I was using. How often do we all do that? Okay, so. So 
So I am doing a pretty red lip, right? I'm gonna go over that crush with my, oh, what's the name of this one? Insta. It's actually orange. You can't really see it in that. Can you see the difference? Anyways, it's an orange. I'm going on top of the red with the orange. And then I'm going to layer on top of that with like a pinky mauve. And what I'm doing is... Creating a fun, almost sunset lip. Do you see what I see and I do not like? I'm just fanning that out. Okay. It's good and dry. Going over that with matte, uh, melted matte Too Faced in the color Queen Bee. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very good. Finish with some oil. What is it? D-Slick. Oil-free. Oil control. Urban Decay. Setting spray. And let's do some lashes. Well, my lashes. Not some lashes. I don't feel like putting eyelashes on today, honestly. I'm just too tired to do it, but I'm going to use Lifted by Tarte. Perfect. Mm, I love the way this smells. It smells like chocolate. Oh, smells like chocolate. This is the chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. Um, it's a matte bronzer. It's gorgeous. Okay, so taking a small crease brush. This is E112, and I'm literally just going underneath where I just put that eyeliner, and I'm just smudging it out. Don't be afraid to blink. Mmm. Instant. It's perfect. Instantly. Because <laughs> it's smudging. There's nothing perfect about it. You're gonna do whatever you... I open my mouth. I go... To like stretch my eyeballs. It's just what works for me. Find what works for you. Okay. So I'm gonna go over that with that same full spectrum palette. I have to drink water because it is 105 degrees in my house right now. I'm probably exaggerating, but I don't think I am. Because it is mighty hot. Okay, 
So I'm going back in with that same palette. I'm going to go back in with Gossip, which was that second color. This one. And I'm just going to use that to line or smudge out my smudge. Really create that like cohesive, fun color. Yes, queen. Mm. 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 Ah! I love it when my eyes are fun. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I can't help it. Okay. So. I could go crazy and do lashes. But I'm going to be real with you. I don't feel like doing them. End of story. Um... But what I will do is go in and bake my face just a little bit with some setting powder. I'm not going to like bake my face. I'm just going to tap on some translucent powder with a loose face brush. Nothing crazy. Big face brush. This is F12. Some translucent. This is the NYX. HD photo finish. Get it on. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because nobody can see it regardless. But your oilier, oilier areas, um, say that five times fast, or your areas that you really don't want to move, those are the areas that you want to bake or really get that like translucent powder in so it doesn't move. Beautiful. So yesterday, my fiance and I um, had our engagement shoot with one of the best photographers I've ever known. He's amazing. Love him to death. He, his name is Frost, and it's Photos by Jay. If you want to check him out, I'll link him below. He is phenomenal, and I did my whole face. I did an Instagram story about that. And at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing makeup or how well you do makeup. Like, there's always that, like, I have been in the sun, moving around, sweating for hours. Like, how is it going to look at the end of the day, right? So I looked in the mirror and I was like, ooh, girl got baked, did well. It held up. It looked great. So hope the pictures are just as amazing as I saw them to be. Yesterday he was like, pull us to the side and show us a few pictures and I was like, oh my God, they're amazing. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a very fun lip if I can. Wait, is this what I want? What color is this? Crush, yes, this is what I want, okay. Had a moment, guys. I didn't know what I was using. How often do we all do that? Okay, so. So, I am doing a pretty red lip, right? I'm going to go over that crush with my, ooh, what's the name of this one? Insta. It's actually orange. You can't really see it in that. Can you see the difference? Anyways, it's an orange. I'm going on top of the red with the orange. And then I'm going to layer on top of that with like a pinky mauve. And what I'm doing is creating a fun, almost sunset lip.
Do you see what I see and I do not like? I'm just fanning that out. Okay. It's good and dry. Going over that with matte, uh, melted matte Too Faced in the color Queen Bee. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very good. Finish with some oil. What is it? D Slick, oil free, oil control, urban decay. Setting spray. And let's do some lashes. Well, my lashes, not some lashes. I don't feel like putting my lashes on today, honestly. I'm just too tired to do it. But I'm going to use Lifted by Tarte. Perfect. Mm, I love the way this smells. It smells like chocolate. Oh, smells like chocolate. This is the chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. Um, it's a matte bronzer. It's gorgeous. So this is my finished look. <laughs> 